picture. You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by Bathway, the tub cutting people. Visit bathway.ca. A nor'easter so powerful, it shut down all traffic surrounding a major Canadian city. The roar of the winter wind had hurricane ferocity. Two Weather Network meteorologists tried to withstand the savage gusts. They lost. I cannot believe how powerful these winds are. I've been talking about lace wet winds for 17 years, and to see it, and to see it actually blow two grown men over was pretty incredible. It just felt like we'd been like, just hit by a car. I was, boom, and it, it was literally, you had no time to think before you were hitting the ground. This is way more than I was expecting. I think we're okay. The reason the winds pick up so much in that area of Cape Breton, so you get a bit of what we call the Bernoulli effect. The winds come across Cape Breton, go up over the Table Mountains, and then begin to drop back down. And that speeds up the winds right through that gap. A lot of the time, I think, just watching people Blow over in a lace wet wind means this is how bad it is. You don't want to be here. Evening settling in across eastern Canada. Sudbury on Monday. Yes, yeah, some blue skies there. Big snow on the weekend. Powerful winds today. Thanks, Terry. And of course, we encourage you all to be our eyes and ears in the storm. Bundle up if you're going to go out and tackle something like that. You can always shoot it from the front porch if you've got a nice view from the front window. Tyler Hamilton's our briefing meteorologist tonight. He's just letting me know that Pearson Airport recent gust. 103 kilometers an hour. Cold winds out of the north, and that's just the beginning. We are setting up for a powerful winter storm. It starts overnight, early morning. Windsor picks up through the day in Toronto, lunchtime onwards especially. Evening at its heaviest, 10, 20 centimeters. 
No, I, this is not a practice April Fool's joke with March 1st starting tomorrow, roaring in 20 centimeters or more for Ottawa, Montreal, especially Quebec City as we travel up the St. Lawrence Seaway, or down actually, technically speaking, towards the sea. Uh, here are the wind directions for the overnight, generally out of the northwest, and setting up for a push of cold wrapping in from the northeast side and that could enhance some of the snowfall down in the Niagara region tomorrow. Your morning commute is going to be fairly decent. Your evening commute getting into the earliest rounds of the heaviest snow through the Toronto Hamilton region. Windsor, you'll be into the heavy snow earlier in the day. Traveling north, the winds picking up on Wednesday as the system continues to travel towards Quebec and Atlantic Canada. Might be a brief bit of mixing over to some ice pellets, possibly as the cold air gets uh, undercut or overridden rather by some warmer air in southern Quebec. That's the possibility for Wednesday morning. But overall, we're looking at a big snowstorm. Snowstorm for Ontario, a combination of watches and warnings, probably going to be followed by some snow squalls once we get into midweek, and it really sets in tonight. Now, we've got some rain tonight in the Maritimes. We've got some heavier rain coming for you on Wednesday with this same eastern Canada storm system, and it's a powerful one. It's moving in from the U.S., big impact there in terms of rain, possibly some thunderstorms. Thunderstorms today, by the way, Georgian Bay, this a part of the country that was setting records yesterday yesterday about 15 degrees above zero. So winter storm 48 hours later. Nathan Coleman joins us from the east.